name is Dwight Witcher. I'm a lead tech programmer for Wolfenstein. We're concerned with things like the graphics and the physics and the streaming and the sound, all the stuff that kind of makes the game happen. The Core i7 is Intel's newest PC line of uh, processors. It is a quad-core processor, so it is effectively four CPUs on one chip. And Wolfenstein tries to take advantage of all four of them. And it allows us to push physics further and, and to do more with our graphics and, and with our streaming. I can shoot all these bottles and they break and fall and roll around on the ground as, as they would in the real world. Havoc Physics is a middleware licensed by the Havoc company to us. We, uh, we use it for both physics and animation. Even in moments when explosions are going off and there's lots of barrels breaking and lots of things flying up in the air, we really were able to do that without a, a performance hit. So it allowed us to uh, creatively just let go and, and do what we wanted to do for the game. We also use Havoc Ragdolls. Ragdolls are not exactly new technology, uh, but Havoc allows us to take ragdolls and, and blend those with, with animation and not suffer performance consequences that, that other engines uh, sometimes suffer from when characters you know, fall limp. For Wolfenstein, we have deferred shading, and in that way, we actually draw the scene unlit and then draw in the lights almost as if they were uh, other 3D objects. And by drawing in those lights one at a time, you can just basically see the whole, the whole scene come alive. Post-processing in Wolfenstein is basically after the, the scene has been rendered and lit, we start doing other color passes over the scene for color adjustments. The post-processing really comes into play for us in the veil, um, which is that, that alternate reality for Wolfenstein. In addition to turning up the particle effects, we also turn up the post-process effects a lot. So um, it can kind of enhance your vision in some ways, and it also kind of gives the world a, a kind of a cool, new, eerie look. For Wolfenstein, we wanted to add a lot of detail to the world. We wanted to add a lot of new dynamics and movables. And we also wanted to have higher resolution textures than what we were using before. So we needed to enhance our streaming system for Wolfenstein. And we did that. So uh, as the players move through the world, we're throwing out of memory the stuff that we're not using at that moment and bringing in more detail. So that just allows us to fill every room with as much detail as we can afford to do. We've been uh, very excited to see it all come together, and we're really happy with the result.